Hi, I'm Andy Nidell, and this is Out of the Trenches, where I sit here in the Chair of Wisdom and answer your questions about the First World War. Mert Okatan says, Indy, hi. How did journalism evolve during World War I? I'm linking this with the war correspondence. Did war journalism become popular for the papers? Okay, well this is another one of those really huge questions, but I'll do, I'll do a quick stab at it. The First World War in journalism was characterized throughout by heavy censorship. I mean, just look at the British. Lord Kitchener, the Secretary of State for War, hated reporters, and they were totally banned from the front at the beginning of the war. And even though by 1915 some few were allowed, the British government had a lot of control over what went out in the media, which was pretty selective. This was the same in all of the warring nations, actually, and it led to, well, it led to some really serious misreporting. Like the Battle of the Somme, which I just mentioned, is a really good example. The first day of that battle saw nearly 60,000 British casualties, but it was reported as a day of promise, and things were going well for Britain and France. Now Lloyd George said in 1917, and I hope I get this right because this is a quote, if people really knew the truth, the war would be stopped tomorrow. But of course they don't know and can't know. Mitchell Susvein says, what role did the other Balkan states have in the war? It is great that you guys are doing this, thanks so much. Well, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> I don't actually want to talk about this yet. We're going to see this develop, you know, week by week over the next four years. And I think, I think anyway, it's much more interesting to watch it unfold gradually. Sorry if that's a cheating answer, but that's my answer, okay. The McPhail, McPhail, McPhaley writes, Hello Indy. Hello. I would like to know which sources are you using to make this episodes, are you, these episodes, I guess. Are you actually studying in archives or just using some books? In that case, which books are you using? Thanks in advance from a devoted fan. All right. Um, oh, maybe you can answer my question in Out of the Trenches. Okay, well, I will answer your question in Out of the Trenches. Um, <clears throat> this is a good question, actually, because I've been asked a bunch now how I write these episodes. So here's the basic production line. I usually write five at once, like five weeks at once. So I'll open five new documents. And the crew, my crew here, they've made like a timeline for me online. So I'll go through the documents and I'll note the events, the actual you know, the, the Battle of Basra or something. I'll note it in each weekly document and then start fleshing out those documents. For each episode, I'll use anywhere from five to ten sources, depending on what was happening that week, and go through books and online newspaper archives from the war and then write out the actual events. Now, the books can be anywhere from something general, like Martin Gilbert's The First World War, which I use a lot, to something really specific, like Blood in the Snow, which is just about the Carpathian Winter War of 1915. So obviously I'll only be using that as a reference for, well, I can't tell you how long because I haven't got to the end of that yet. Okay, when I've sorted out the actual history and I've written the actual just cold facts of what happened, then I give each episode a hook, right? Like, like the war in the skies or the race to the sea, a hook that reflects some new phenomenon that we see that specific week that we have not yet seen in the war. And then I try to make it TV friendly. The bios and the special episodes are actually researched and preliminarily written by David Voss. David, um, come, you can say hi. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the guy who preliminary researches and writes the bios and special episodes, that's David Voss. Hi, everyone. Okay, okay. Hi. and then he sends me his notes and I go over his notes and I do some editing and I'll maybe flesh things out of things and change a little bit, but he's very good. And then they're presented the way that I like to present things in my own words. Now, I live in Stockholm, but I come here to Berlin, where the office is, uh, once a month to shoot. And the set is built here because they translate my scripts into German and Polish for those versions of the show, and we shoot them all in this awesome studio here. And out of the trenches, I just make up. Now, at some point, we are going to do a special episode about propaganda during the war. But for now, you can check out our episode from week 13, where I talk about the home front. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you're on Reddit, check out our awesome subreddit for more discussions on all of our awesome episodes.